Tonight in the Atlantic, there's a man rowing with 1,000 whales. In Tokyo, they have a petri dish smile to put on your favorite robot. Mm -hmm. Dublin, they have the world's largest parade. See how that came out. And in Melbourne, you're going to be able to get a Tasmanian tiger. <laughs> How about Riverside with a miracle horse? Learn about a fellow in Everett, Massachusetts who got a free lottery ticket. All that and more on Interesting World News. It's Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. I'm Don Hollifield. And this is Interesting World News. Tonight, NPR reports that a man is rowing in the Atlantic with whales. At first, it was a whale, then a couple whales, and one of them bumped him, but he wasn't shocked because he was lonely. Imagine it. You're rowing a boat in the Atlantic, and you're lonely. So now there's whales pumping your boat and you're, you're not lonely anymore. And he claims that, I have no reason to think he lied, that he saw a thousand whales on his trip. A thousand whales. Wow, man. I mean, what a trip. He's rowing, rowing, rowing. Okay, in Tokyo, NPR also reports they have a petri dish smile. They put on robots, it has ligaments, muscles. It comes with all your favorite robots now. They all smile at you. No, I didn't read anything about frowning, but I'm sure they could, especially if they, you know, did something to the robot. Anyways, happy days are here for robots. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Sky New News, uh, they're reporting that in Dublin, you know, like usually you have a big parade and nobody shows. Well, not in Dublin. Uh, no, no, not in Dublin. That's not the way the Irish does it. But the way they do it is they have everybody show up and there's no parade. Sky News also reports that in Melbourne, Australia, you'll be able to soon get a Tasmanian tiger at your local pet store. In, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, they do have a Tasmanian tiger in a jar of alcohol. And uh, yeah, they're gonna bring back the Tasmanian tiger, for real. Now, I don't know about this that store thing. I was just kind of making that up, but that seems crazy, don't it? Oh, well. Okay. Uh, UPI claims in where's that at? Riverside, California. They got the miracle horse out of a 60-foot uh, well. When the horse fell in, it was only 15 feet because it was full of water. They pumped the water out. It was 60 foot. That's a miracle. The horse lives today. Everything's fine. Riverside, California, good news. You know what we love about UPI? They're also reporting about a fellow named Ambro Mblinski. I can't even pronounce his name, but this fellow in uh, Everett, Massachusetts, he went to his local grocery store and he got a free lottery ticket. You ever heard of that? They were doing a promotion and just giving away free lottery tickets. You would think they'd have known the winners from the losers. Apparently not. It was a legitimate thing. He won, let's wait for it, $100,000. And this is interesting world news, and I love you. And I finally got 
through this show. I only did it like 20 times, but I got through it, right? Okay, so this is episode two. We're soon going to have episode three. Thank you for watching. I love you, folks. Jesus, man, I got to catch the bus. That was terrible. I'm sorry, guys. I know, it's like, I know everybody's here doing this and I don't know what I'm doing, but this is only my second show. I swear, after about four or five hundred shows, I'll be fine.